Hi, this is Rachel. If you want to learn how to do site calibration, this video is what you want. The second part is how to do site calibration. Let me show you. Step one, create a new project. Open LandStar A software. Tap on projects. Tap new. Enter name. In the coordinate system, to choose the coordinate system given in the CAD drawings, I choose China CGCS 2000. Tap next. Tap projection. Tap get central meridian. Tap OK and then tap OK again. Your project is now set up. Step two: Start a site calibration. This generally leads exact coordinates from four control points given from the CAD drawing. Also, the site has the location of these four control points. We firstly enter the coordinates of these four control points in the LandStar software. Tap points. Tap add. Enter name GPS one. Enter the coordinates of the GPS one control point. Tap Save and follow the same steps to enter the control point coordinates of GPS 2, GPS 3, and GPS 4 respectively. After completion, we go to the first control point. Tap Survey, tap Site Calibration, tap Add. Place the RDK on the first point. Make sure the bubble is centered. Then enter the point name P1 below the JSS point and then tap the upright corner of the collection icon. Make sure that the antenna height is consistent with the actual antenna height. And tap start to collect. Other survey is completed. At no point, tap points library icon. Select GPS 1. And tap save and continue. Then we repeat the upper operation to complete the survey of the remaining three points P2, P3, P4, and select control point coordinates of the GPS 2, GPS 3, GPS 4 points. Step 3. Finish the site calibration. Once the GPS 4 coordinate elevation input is completed, tap Save. The software automatically calculates the residual values. Check if the horizontal residual is less than 0.02 and the vertical residual is less than 0.03. If both criteria are met, you can tap Accept and then we can get correct coordinates of the point from surveying and state of directly. Did you get it? Follow me. I will show you more JSS RDK tips.